Whoa, lizard! Yes. yes, look at that! Nice. That is a monkey tail lizard. Whoa. Holy cow, I just caught it moving out of the side of my eye. Whoa, look at this. Holy mackerel, that is awesome. I've never caught one of these before. Well, folks, Breaking Trail is officially international, and our first location abroad is the beautiful country of Costa Rica. We found and filmed many amazing animals, but to kick off the adventures, let's start with something unexpected. Whoa, look at this tail. Holy mackerel, that is awesome. I've never caught one of these before. Um, here, let's uh, move into the light, it's kinda dark. Here, it's getting a little aggravated. Oh, oh. Right, here, right here is good. Where, right here? Yeah. Oh, okay, is that enough light? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Great. man. Wow, look, look at that, that tail. That lizard, you know who this reminds me of? Oh, yeah. The Cuban night and all. We all remember what happened in that episode. I took a chomp. And he's not too keen on biting. Oh, nope, yes he is. Hopefully I don't get bit by this guy. Now, this is the monkey-tailed lizard, and they are called a monkey-tailed lizard because look at the tail on this guy. I can barely fit it in the frame. That thing is probably almost two-thirds the length of this lizard's body, and it's actually prehensile, and they use this tail when they're up in the tree canopy to help themselves balance on tree limbs. You can see that right there. He's got his tail wrapped around my thumb, and that's what they'll do. They will use their tail to actually hang from branches. Watch this. I can hold him by his tail. He won't drop his tail. They can hold up the weight of their body just like that, use their legs to hold onto tree bark, and lay in wait for prey to come by. Now this is an ambush predator, and look at that. Look at that. It's almost like an upside down yoga pose. And they will lay in wait for their prey. Now this is an arboreal species, meaning that they live up in the tree canopy, and they're feeding on pretty much anything they can come across, but mainly small bugs and arachnids. Hey there, buddy. How are you? Getting ready for uh, your nap, huh? These are actually diurnal lizards, so we're probably catching him just as he's headed up into the trees. Oh, come here. For the night. And it appears that this is a male. Check this out. Watch. Let's look at his dewlap. May I? Thank you, sir. Whoop. Oh, just a little dewlap. Not much color on that. As you can see, they are completely matte green all the way around. This is such a cool lizard. Now, they do get quite a bit bigger than this, and the females actually grow larger than the males. Oh, it's like a whip. And this is a male. Yeah, and they can use that tail as defense to whip it at a potential predator. But as an arboreal species, they don't come in contact with predators all that often, unless, of course, it is a bird. These will be taken by hawks or eagles. Uh, but they are voracious predators themselves, eating any small invertebrate that they can find up there in the tree canopy. But occasionally they will come down to the ground when big rains move through. And earlier today we had a massive storm push its way through the rainforest here. And I imagine that is what pushed this guy down to the level where I am able to capture him. Now look at the head of that lizard. Resembles the Cuban night anole, and it also kind of looks like a chameleon. However, this species is in the anole family. But they really kind of look like iguanas. And you'll notice, unlike the Cuban night anole, he does not have a ridge of spines that runs down the length of his body. And look at those eyeballs. Let's take a good look at those. Very similar to the eyeballs of a chameleon. And what's interesting is that they can move independently of one another, meaning that they can lay in wait for their prey and just look around with one single eye. And I can't do it very good, but let's see if I can get him to. Over here. Over here. Can't tell us his eye moving at all? Yeah, it totally is. Over there. Look at that. Well, how cool is that? Getting to monkey around with the monkey-tailed lizard. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. There he goes. If you thought this lizard was cool, make sure to go back and check out the time I was chomped by the Cuban night and all. And don't forget, subscribe to join me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail. Look at you. You are all tail, buddy. Look at that. And now he's up on my hat. They have incredible balance. Oh boy, and I am like looking right at his butt. Hopefully he doesn't poop in my face. Oh.